Welcome, welcome, welcome to Maria Loves to Talk. Yes, and I'm doing fragrances. Well, I have my little candles burning. Yes, I am working on the theme. And what is my theme? A well-known, famous female perfumery, perfumer, business owner, British. <laughs> I know you know. Uh, and Oprah, I didn't know this. The one that really helped her put her foot on the map and made a mega bus. Okay, who? Jo Malone. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You guys, I need you to click like and subscribe. And this is going to be, a, I have about 15 fragrances. And I will link the celebrity or a few of the celebrities I found that love Jo Malone fragrance. And a little information, a little bio about her that I didn't know myself. So if this is something you're interested in, I need you to get some snacks. And let's get into it. Okay, so starting the first thing, I didn't know Joe Malone was British. I didn't know Joe Malone was a, a girl, a chick, a lady. Because way back in the day when I first saw Joe Malone at the Macy's counter or or before it was Macy's, I think it was Foley's. I just assumed Joe Malone was a dude. Okay, so Joe Malone is now owned by Estee Lauder. I didn't know a little information. Estee Lauder owns all these fragrances. A little bit about Joe Malone. Okay, so she got her start when she was about eight or six in her mom's kitchen, mixing up things, making up um, beauty products, whatnot. I'm thinking some eight, six years old. She started really young. Uh, she was a facial therapist, um, doing facials, whatnot, and then go home at night, working, uh, making colognes, perfumes, mixing and matching. Uh, then she started her company in 1999. I guess, she, I don't know, she went on the Oprah show or Oprah heard about her. And that kind of like just shot her up into stardom. Okay, something about 2006, I don't know that's when she sold her company or something happened. She sold her rights. She got sick. She had breast cancer. She, uh, I think she was raising a son. She is a married lady. So she did sell her company, and then she started back again. Was it, two? I think, 2011? Maybe before that. I guess you want to get right back into, you know, when you are... A woman business owner, you're independent, you're an entrepreneur, you want to get right back in it. So she got back in and she started Joe, Joe Loves, and then she does the the, the uh, fragrances with Zara. Okay, so the, the first one I'm going to start with, and yes, where would I be, you guys? And I'm going to keep telling you guys, get your little, get your little samples. Some of these came from Perfume Court, and I just found another company called Scent Split. So I got a lot of little samples with them. So starting with Lime Basil. I think Lime Basil and um, Wood Sage and Sea Salt might be her most popular. Lime Basil is supposed to be the, the one that lasts the longest, especially if you mix it with Blackberry and Bay. So some of the celebrities who love Lime Basil, Rosie Huntington, Wildly, famous actress, Sienna Miller, another famous actress, uh, Antonio Banderas, supposedly, I, I I didn't know, I don't know for sure if he wears it, but his name was up there. And then another actress, uh, Chelsea Garcia and Claudine Barreto. So let me, and I've already smelled them. I'm not going to test all of them, but I was really impressed with lime, uh, lime basil, and it is worthy of a big bottle. Yes, I, I like this one. Gosh, I'm not going to put it on. I'm tempted. Lime basil is good and is worthy of a big bow. I don't know. The prince, well, the prince doesn't. She wears this and she wears uh, wood sage and sea salt, Pauline Luna, and uh, Bethany Frankel. She owns a lot of fragrances as well. And I just heard something about Bethany Frankel. Um, Bethany Frankel, remember her from the New York Housewives? She owns several. Miss Duchess. Okay, she's beautiful. Okay, so I, I am impressed with Bluebell. I like that one too. This one, 
it, I mean, it, it makes me, it's like you're transported into a garden or you walking along a bicycle and then you see all these beautiful flowers and you just want to stop and just fall and, and just lay in it. Worthy of a, a bottle, a big bottle. I don't know how much it costs, but it's worthy. Uh, next one, very popular. And when I first saw that, when I wanted it and I saw the price, I'm sorry, you know, I'm cheap. I'm not scared to tell you I'm cheap. I'm spendthrifty. I'm frugal. Okay, so the next one is Red Roses. And they're saying with Red Roses, if you combine it with Earl Grey and Cucumber or Blue Bell, it will really enhance the fragrance. I also have a little tip for, for, for you, and I will share with you at the end. Uh, Red Roses, Regina King. Okay, I'm going to start with Nene Leaks. We all know Nene Leaks. And condolences go out to her, losing her husband. Beautiful Vivica Fox, actress, producer, director. And here's um, Regina King. Condolences go out to her. She lost her, her son. And then Vivica Fox again. That's her best friend. So they, these ladies wear uh, red roses. Okay, so let's see. And I do know what a red rose should smell like. As I grew up with about 10 or 15 uh, roses in my front yard. Y yes. Yes, this is worthy of a big bottle. Look, if you can afford it, and I know a lot of you can because we're getting our little income taxes. Some of us already got our income tax, just saying. A uh, Hillary Rhoda, she wore that for her wedding. I think she's a Filipino actress. Uh, Boy Abunda, he's also a Filipino. He's a professor, TV host, talent manager. Faith Hill, you know her, beautiful country western singer, married to, um, what is that man's name? I know McGraw. Is it Keith McGraw? Shame on me. And then that western, too, in that movie. Uh, and then also Condoleezza Rice. Okay, that's a lot of people. That's a lot. That shows you how popular. Our next one, Orange Blossom. And I know y'all know... This lovely lady, this uh, beautiful, attractive, smart lady, Duchess Kate Middleton. Check out my video on I did a Kate Middleton, the dream or the vision I had about Kate Middleton. Check it out. So Orange Blossom, uh, here they're saying that this works well with white jasmine mint or blackberry and bay. Some of the celebrities who love this is Karen Elson. Uh, she has beautiful red hair. Uzu, U-Z-O, Abuba uh, from the Orange is the New Black. Uh, Joe Malone also likes this one. Joe Malone likes uh, Pamelo Colon. R. Jones, Lara Spencer, the blonde lady, um, anchor on uh, GM GMA with... Uh, Michael Strahan and Robin uh, Roberts. Katie Holmes, remember her? Amelia Fox from The Pianist. Poppy Devine, uh, Develine, I think she's related to the, mo the model with the beautiful eyes. Okay, let me smell this one. Yes, worthy of a big bottle. Again, these are rich women that have money, that have rich husbands, rich boyfriends, they can afford anything. And really, to me, I don't really think Joe Malone is really that expensive like some fragrances. So it's, I would say it's kind of like price point. Okay, so that was Orange Blossom. My next one is called Nectarine and Blossom. You know who this beautiful lady is? Elizabeth Hurley. Uh, I still can't forget her. And um, golly, I cannot, I cannot think of her boyfriend. But yeah, I remember her. Uh, Priscilla Presley. I don't know what Lisa wear, but this is Priscilla. She loves, uh, and she looks good for her age. I don't know how old she is, but I know she got to be in her 70s. And again, we have... Um, these housewives, 
again, uh, one thing I will say, I noticed after reading a couple uh, stories on Bethany Frankel, besides she's also a go-getter, entrepreneur, independent woman, was that as she came into more money, she started adding more and more different blossom. We have Paula Patton, uh, Kendra Wilkinson, uh, Boy Abunda again, Nikki Gill, uh, Tessa Prieto, Karen Fairchild. I mean, it's just a lot of celebrities love this fragrance. So let me see. Let's see. And I do like it. I tried it when I first I uh, put it on a couple times. Yes. I like it. I, I do not as much as the red roses and the blue bell, but I do like it. I can smell that honey. It's not too sweet. It's just right. So this is also a yes. It's not a big yes, but it's a yes. The current, I don't know why. I don't know why I got it. I just, it seemed interesting. Uh, Jackie Gun Gonzaga, a Filipino actress, singer. She wears this one. Let's see. I'm liking this one too. It's not strong. It's just right. I don't like a fragrance too strong. All these fragrances, I would say, is something that you can wear during the day and possibly, especially red roses, into the evening. Uh, next, uh, this one, green almond and red currant, is definitely a daytime fragrance for work. Put it over here. My next one that is also popular is pomegranate noir. Uh, Kelly, I don't know how to say her name, Co Coco, I know y'all gonna get me, from the Big Bang Theory, the Pretty Blonde, and of course, Kim Zosiak, uh, from, um, she used to be from Atlanta Housewives, married the, the handsome football player, now she has her own, uh, show, I did like this one, yes. This one is sexy, and it can be into the night. This is definitely, yes, it's worthy for a big bottle. Primal Grant Nora. Moving on, bronze wood and leather. Bronze wood and leather. Joy, uh, John Boyega, first male ambassador. Uh, Mike Coulter, a.k.a. Luke Cage, handsome, sexy actor, English. Uh, he's not English, but John Boyega is. Uh, John... And Molly May Haig. Okay, I just read something about John, and I was kind of disappointed. Uh, he's no longer the ambassador. I don't know if he got upset with, I don't know if it's, uh, Joe, not Joe Malone, but I guess the Estee Lauder company, since they're the one running thing. But he said that they used uh, him for one campaign, and they picked another actor for the campaign in China. So he just bowed out and said he didn't want to have anything to do with them anymore. So I don't know. Now I like this one. This is definitely masculine. It's nice. It's sexy. This is a yes for your man. Uh, the popular English pair and freeze you. Adrian Billion Horton from The Real. And let's see, they said you can com you can combine this with orange blossom to enhance it. Let's see. Yeah, this one is good. I don't know if this is the one that she said I remember reading something or did I see it on our YouTube? She said that she gave it to her mom. This one, yes. This one will be uh, more like a daytime. Uh, the next one will be Myrrh and Tonka. They say that you can put this, combine it with Peony Blush. Uh, Cynthia Ervivo, the beautiful uh, actress with the blonde hair that did the Aretha Franklin. She had a beautiful red uh, gown at the uh, awards the other night. And then Molly May. Okay, so let's see. And I smelled this one earlier, and it is, I'm not going to say strong, but it has a good strength to it, and it's yummy. And this will be a date night. And I, I can see it would really be nice with 
uh, add uh, combining with peony and blush, this is a yes. So far, I'm really liking everything. I'm loving everything for Joe Malone. Now, I have heard, and I think that's probably why I was hesitant of, of sacrificing or committing to any of the fragrances because everyone, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, people say the fragrance doesn't last long on you, okay? And also with the pen, with this one, they say you can also combine, combine it with Wild Blue Bell. With fragrances, you want to just mix and match and try out and see what's best for you. Because remember, what might work for you might not work for someone else. Like the other night, uh, I gave one of my, um, oh gosh, one of my Victor Rolf to one of my nieces. I think it's the new one, the Nectar. And then I gave the other one, uh, the little small Alyssa Green. And the older girl told the younger one, oh, I don't like the Alyssa Green. It smells like grandma or, or it smells like a mature, mature lady. But the little one, I think she's like 14, 15, she loved it. So, you know, different things for different folks. So moving on, let me stop it yapping. Peony and blush. Okay, so this is one they say that you would work well with Velvet Rose and Oud, which I have, or Wild Blue Bell. So let's see. Romantic, but a, a, a nice, fresh, innocent romantic. It's not that wicked, sultry romantic. It's just right. And you can get away wearing this uh, to work. Now, that's one thing I can say about from what her fragrances, they're not harsh. I'm not smelling alcohol. It's not offensive. It's not heavy. Uh, okay, my next one, uh, Blue Agave and Cacao, uh, Jessica Alba. Y'all know her from Honest, and she also had her uh, was had a TV show. She has a beautiful family, some beautiful kids, and a handsome husband. So let's see. I love this one, and I, I, it was hard to try to find it. This one, perfect summer vacation fragrance, Blue Agave, perfect. Okay, moving on. My next one here. Uh, Vita Veer and Golden Vanilla. Okay, so this was rated in GQ Magazine 2022 as one of the best Vita Veer fragrance. Uh, it's in intense, bold, uh, like a warm hug. And I had some information about Vita Veer, and I didn't know this. Uh, Vita Veer. Uh, in India, it is used to make blinds. Interesting. Vita Veer, uh, tropical grass native to India, and now 80% of it, the oil comes from Haiti. Very interesting. I didn't know that. So let's get back to my Vita Veer and golden vanilla. I think this might be her strongest. I mean, I think it's stronger than that lime basil. It smells good to me, you know. Yes, it is a yes. I think the vanilla really helps it, helps it a lot. That that Vita Veer Golden, yes, I will definitely will want my man to smell like that. Moving on to my next one, Violet and Amber Absolute. This came from Perfume Court as well. This fragrance here is $300. And the Vita Veer and Golden uh, sells for $196. Ooh, wow. Okay, let's see what this violet. Let's see. Hopefully, it's really good. $300. It's okay. I wouldn't... <laughs> I keep it real, you guys. I'm not, I'm not spokesmodel. Nobody's hiring me. I'm not on their payroll. I'm not getting free stuff. I wouldn't spend three hundred dollars. It's okay. It, you know, it's doable. It's something I don't see it. You know, when I see that word absolute, I'm thinking I'm gonna really be smelling something. I'm not smelling um, that much. 
um, it, it's, it's okay. One to five, I would give it a three minus or a two and a half. But it's definitely not, a, it's not even a four to me. So I'm going to put it over here. I think so far that's that's one the first and that's not bad because I have one two I have about eight fragrances here that are, are all yes and this one that's three hundred dollars that's a no. Okay, I didn't have these fragrances, but I'm gonna talk about them. Wild Fig, Molly Sims, beautiful blonde actress. She likes that one. Frida Pinto, beautiful uh, actress. She just had a baby. Congrats. They love Wild Fig, Grapefruit, Oprah Winfrey. We know Oprah Winfrey, entrepreneur, uh, independent woman, smart, um, perfect role model. They need to have a one-on-one -on -one Oprah Winfrey class in colleges. Uh, Victoria Beckham, we know her, married to handsome um, David Beckham. I think she's also a businesswoman as well and a singer. Uh, Kate Beckinsale, she likes it. She has several fragrances. Of course she would, okay? She's British. Uh, okay, uh, of course, if we talk about Bethany uh, Frankel, she has several. Um, and Nutmeg and Ginger, I don't have that one, but Gerald Butler or Gerard Butler, handsome. Uh, I think he's a Welsh actor. He loves that one. And Michael Strahan. Handsome football player, former football player, now host on Good Morning America. He likes the candle, pear and freeze. I would, what? I would not imagine that big, bulky, handsome dude liking a candle, pear and freezer. But that's what he likes. Okay. So moving on, these I picked up and I'm so glad I found this company called Scent Split. And I'm going to start with Gardenia and Oud, uh, White Floral Musk, uh, and uh, Creamy and Luscious. Okay, two, in right, and this one, not super strong, but it has a good strength to it. And I guess it's, that's that Oud. And I can't smell the Gardenia, and again, what I'll, I'm liking about most of the fragrances I'm smelling from Joe Malone, I'm not getting alcohol. Like with some, I'm not getting that alcohol. Okay, so a tip that uh, I read from a dude, a perfume dude, gent, that knows his stuff on how to enhance or to, um, I guess, make your fragrance last longer. And he swear by it uh, is to use a uh, jojoba oil on your skin, put your fragrance, or the IS, is it ISO Super, ISE Super? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I know y'all know. Don't get me. Don't butcher me. I know I'm butchering it up. That be in the molecule of one. So that will enhance your fragrance. Okay, so this one is Jasmine Sambach and Marigold. It's a white floral. And I'm... I'm, and that's what I like. I'm smelling it. And it smells good. It's a yes. A big yes. I'm loving that one. Okay, so my next one. Star Magnolia. And I, I don't know why I got it, but it was just interesting. That name, Star Magnolia. Citrus Free Fresh. Yes. I'm, I'm, yes, yes, yes. I let Poppy. Uh, this one here, Scarlet Poppy. You can combine it with honeysuckle and Divana, uh, wood sage and sea salt, myrrh and tonka. It's a yes. Velvety, lush, creamy, feminine. Yes. Big yes. Uh, not smelling any alcohol. My next one, Earl, Earl Grey and Cucumber. Refreshing, kind of like an afternoon tea. Earl Grey. I want to spray. Okay. Already sprayed it earlier. Chris, refreshing. I won't say strong, but 
kind of strong. From one to five, I would give it a four. And wood, sage, and sea salt. This is the one that everybody talk about. I almost wasn't going to get it because I already had picked up on a lot of marine fragrances I'll do later on. And then I said, you know, let me just go ahead and get it. Okay, so this is a marine aromatic. Uh, it's also on the list. Meghan Markle, Duchess Markle, loves this fragrance. Also, you can combine it with pomegranate noir, noir, and I told you that was so good. It was so yummy. So I can imagine these two combined really will be awesome. Exactly. You're on a beach, or you might be on one of those uh, shipping boats or boats where you're going uh, on a, I don't know, a little cruise or on an outing with your friends, just having a good time. This is a yes, and it's deserving of a big bottle, or worthy of a big bottle. <laughs> okay, the next one, going to Marine Bay, I heard a lot about that one. Uh, this one here has cedar wood. Uh, it's fruity floral, a little spicy. Now, when I did spray this one, I did smell a little alcohol in the beginning. Okay. Also fresh, crisp, not that sweet. Uh, the blackberry is not as strong as I would like, but you can smell like a tad of it. And I do mean a tad of it. And I'm going to kind of like put it over here. <laughs> um, my next one, 154 Cologne. My last one, you guys. Mandarin, English lavender, nutmeg, basil, grapefruit. Um, this is a little aromatic and spicy as well. Let's see. This is a yes. This is, this. you might be able to get away with this one. Uh, date night, it's not going to be a heavy duty date night. It's just going to be just a nice date night. You're going out to eat somewhere, a seafood restaurant or something. You can also do this daytime office, uh, church, school, uh, cafeteria. Uh, what I like about this one, I didn't smell alcohol. So Jo Malone. Uh, I see why her fragrance is why she's very popular or or S now as Estee Lauder because uh, it's a good quality fragrance. You not smell all that alcohol. She she off they offer so much. There's so many different um, fragrance and notes. So if you enjoyed this video, I do need you please leave me some comments. Click like and subscribe.